In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the Office 365 DSC module to manage your Teams implementation. In my case, I am currently in the admin center of my test tenant, and we can see that I have no Teams defined for my tenant. We can go and confirm in the Teams client that there are indeed no Teams created. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use PowerShell DSC to define my new Teams using the Teams team resource available from the Office 365 DSC module. I'm going to name this team Super Secret Team, give it a description, make sure it is a private team. I'm going to run this script. This is going to go and compile my MOV file. It's going to prompt me to provide credentials. Now remember that as always with Office 365 DSC, those credentials need to be um, credentials for a tenant admin. I'm going to go and run the configuration called Teams Video, which is the one I just compiled. Now this is going to go and detect that the team's super secret team doesn't exist and it's going to go and create it. So if we just wait in the team's client for a few seconds, we should see that new super secret team appear. There you go. The team has appeared with the default general channel. And just to confirm, if we go back to the admin center, I'm going to see that team's in there. And there we go. While this might not be super exciting, um, what we're going to do next is we're going to go and define some more settings around my team. I'm going to go and define a new Teams channel called Feedback. I'm going to set the settings of my teams to allow custom memes and giphies. And I'm going to go and add a new user named John Smith as an owner for my team. Once again, because I've made changes to my configuration, I need to recompile it. What I'm going to do is rerun my start DSC configuration. Now it's going to detect that the team already exists. So it's just going to skip over the implementation phase. It's going to go scan the channel feedback, detect that that channel doesn't exist, and it's going to go and create it. So in a few seconds, if everything goes well, we should see the feedback channel appear under my general. There you go. So I now have my feedback channel which appeared. If I go back to my admin center, I see that I have my John Smith user added, that I have my two channels, and that my settings have been properly set.